Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's White Shadow and today guys, I'm going to show you guys how to hook up an XLR setup for your Twitch channel. So let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, guys, so like I said, I am going to be showing you guys how to properly hook up your XLR setup and get your interface and, and or your mixer fine tuned in OBS and uh, get everything set up and ready for you guys to start streaming after you've purchased your awesome XLR setup. So we're going to go over things like the type of microphones that you're going to be able to purchase and the different interfaces and or mixers that you will need to properly get everything set up. Let's go ahead and go down the list of stuff you'll need here first, and then we'll pop over to my streaming setup so we can go through OBS. So let's go ahead and check out what you need. So the first thing you guys will need is a proper XLR microphone, not this one. This is a USB microphone. This is an XLR microphone. And an XLR microphone is going to be the one, I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but it's got three little prongs on the bottom here. It is basically the type that you see used like on stage or in like a studio style environment. So the one I have here, this is the Blue Encore 200. This is a handheld dynamic mic that I personally use for this channel. It's a great little starter mic. This thing retails for right around 80 bucks and it would be, it's actually really good for studio style productions, but you will need some sort of XLR microphone to use it with the interface, which is this thing right here. I'm going to go ahead and set this down. So the next thing you will need is an interface or a mixer. This is what we call the M Audio M Track 2x2 USB audio interface. I know that's a lot to handle right there. That's a big mouthful of words. Kind of simple terms, USB interface or USB mixer. Make sure they are USB and make sure they have at least one mic input. This is gonna look like this little guy right here. I'll try to get a more close up shot of that for you guys but it's gonna be where you plug your other side of your cable in from your XLR mic. And basically what the interface does is it helps power the microphone. The next thing you will need is, of course, the power cable for your interface or mixer. Most of the time you will get this included with the interface or mixer. So just keep that in mind right there. Then lastly, this is kind of the most overlooked option when people purchase all of this stuff, they forget to get an XLR cable. Be sure this is only a three foot cable. I do recommend getting a six foot to eight foot or a longer cable because you will need some length if you're going across your desk to your microphone, especially if you have like a boom arm or a stand or something of that sort. So don't get a three foot unless you absolutely just want to have it very in, in close proximity, but uh, you will need a XLR cable. And this is a cool little uh, right angle adapter that I found on Amazon. You can find these things on Amazon relatively cheap um, and they're all balanced. Make sure you buy balanced. I will, I can't stress that enough because it keeps it from being interfered with like monitors and your other electronics that you have in your setup. So this is a male to female type end. So the male goes in the bottom of your microphone here and the female will go into the back or front. It can go in the front of your interface or mixer. And then of course you're gonna have it set up on the stand. I'll show you guys a shot of what everything looks like here in just a minute, but that's kind of the stuff you'll need at the very beginning of it. But all of this stuff here is basically the stuff you'll need in order to get everything hooked up and get started. Now, 
space and or environment will vary on what type of microphone and interface mixer the size all of that stuff wherever you guys stream at you guys know your setups better than i do everybody's going to be different there are plenty of different microphones you can go through and there are plenty of different interfaces and mixers that you can guys you guys can go through i will leave links to all of my recommended stuff down below i'm going to keep it the microphone's under $150, and I will keep the interfaces and mixers under $150 for you guys as well. Because I know a lot of you out there don't have thousands of dollars to blow on an audio setup, and it can get very expensive very quickly, so keep that in mind. But with all of that being said, let's go ahead and pop over to the stream PC so I can show you guys what else is entailed and setting this stuff up. So let's go ahead and pop over there. Yo, what's up guys? We are now over at the stream PC and we're gonna be going over some final settings for your XLR setup that you will need to kind of get everything ready in OBS and on your desktop to in order to really get your setup going. So there's a couple things like drivers and getting all of your default stuff set up in OBS on the software side. It's kind of important because you want your microphone to be able to be displayed over your broadcasting software. So let's go ahead and check out like, I'm not gonna go over settings and everything. I'm just gonna go over like the simple getting your driver installed and all of that fun stuff. So let's go ahead and check all that fun stuff out. All right guys, so we're here on M Audio's website because as you know, we were using the M Audio M Track 2x2. If you're using a different interface like a PreSonus or a Scarlett from Focusrite, you will need to go to that respective manufacturer's website and find the driver by going to their support base. So here you have all of the USB audios uh, and interfaces and things of that sort here. So we have the 2x2 and you are going to select your operating system of choice which here we have windows 10 64 bit basically what that's going to do is it's going to show you the latest update which i already have this installed but i'm just showing you this so you understand you need to go and get the driver or else your interface isn't going to work with windows and a lot of these new interfaces will need new updates because of the fall creators update kind of broke some stuff on the driver side so all of these manufacturers had to go back and redo some of their software you're going to hit click that one install it and then it will install the drivers for you you don't need to do anything else with the driver okay so now that we have that and the thing you're going to want to do after the driver is installed is of course restart your pc and then what you're going to do is go down here to your sounds option you're going to right click on the little icon the speaker icon right click on your speaker icon and go to sounds and that's going to bring up this guy so you're going to go over to recording and then find your interface. You're gonna find your interface here, and I'm using a different interface on my stream PC. I'm using the Sound Blaster K3 Plus. You just click that, hit set default, and then okay. So you set that as your default input device for your microphone. We're going to go over to our streaming software. So now that we're in Streamlabs OBS or OBS, this, is, this will work for both pieces of software. You go and find your microphone. So I'm gonna to go to my sources here and find microphone right click on it and go to properties. So you're gonna to go to properties. Most of the time it's gonna say default. You don't want that. You want it to say whichever your line in is coming from your interface. So my line in is going to be, of course, the microphone Sound Blaster K3 Plus. Select that and then hit done. And what that does is it makes it the default recording device for all of your different scenes. So if I go over to my intro, it's not gonna be playing my microphone audio. It's going to keep it per scene. And uh, that's really important because you don't want to be starting a stream and be talking to somebody and every, all, your entire audio be displayed over your intro song or whatever. So yeah, make sure you set that as the default audio there. And um, sometimes if you go back over to your sounds and the playback se settings here, it sometimes will set the speakers to your interface of choice. Make sure you're setting the playback to whatever you have your headphones plugged in. So for me, it's my Sound Blaster XG6. Some of you will have motherboard audio, and that's probably going to be the Realtek plugin, wherever that is here. But just make sure you have these two separate, unless you use your interface to play back the audio. So yeah, that about does it for the overall setup of your XLR interface setup and all of that stuff it's actually pretty simple it's just getting all of the settings and everything down you can put like 
noise gates and all of that fun stuff. If you want to check that out, I have another video regarding noise gates. But um, yeah, it's a super simple setup, super easy to do. It's just some people don't know how to really plug everything in and get everything optimized or it, some of the, sometimes the instruction manuals on these interfaces don't really tell us what to do. So I wanted to make a video about it and make it kind of easier and simplest terms possible for you guys so you understand how to set up your XLR microphone. So yeah, that's about it for this video, guys. Thank you for checking it out. If you want to follow myself or True Gaming on any of our social medias, all of those links are in the description below. And I would love to see you guys come hang out with me on stream during the week, Monday through Friday, and uh, hang out with us and talk tech and play some video games together. But um, yeah, guys, if any of you are also at TwitchCon this weekend, be sure to go find the true gaming employees and some of the sponsored streamers are there too. Go hang out with them. A lot of true fan members are out there and uh, we would love to have you guys come hang out. I am actually not at TwitchCon, so I will not see you, but maybe next year. But guys, like I said, that about does it for this video. It's been awesome. Hope this helped you guys and uh, see you in the next one. Why shadow out.